I do not encourage or condone the use of tobacco or cannabis products, and if you're under the age of 18, you can go ahead and get out of here right now. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking and reviewing the Marlboro Black Menthols, you know what I'm saying? I'm very, very excited to review these and very, very excited to smoke these, mainly simply because I have not had a cigarette in like two days. I was on vacation with my family, and so I just did not have any cigarettes for the last couple days, you know what I'm saying? But overall, I'm very, very excited to get back into it, and very, very excited to go ahead and give the Marlboro Black Menthol a review, you know what I'm saying? I think without further ado, though, I'm going to go and hop into the packaging of this cigarette, then I'm going to go ahead and get one of the cigarettes out let you guys know how it looks how it feels if there's any perforation or anything like that you know what i'm saying and then i'm gonna go ahead and give it a light and let you guys know how the marlboro black menthols actually are you know what i'm saying i think without further ado though let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging the packaging for this cigarette i gotta be completely honest y'all is pretty nice but it's very much alike a lot of other marlboro cigarettes which certainly is not a big deal in the least kind of thing in the least the last marlboro cigarette i reviewed which was the marlboro virginia blends was not at all looking like any other marlboro cigarettes it was a very much a unique pack design, you know what I'm saying? And this is not nearly as unique, but is still certainly very interesting to take a look at, you know what I'm saying? So no complaints on my behalf about it not being super unique or anything like that. Of course, we just have the classic Marlboro ribbon up here, and it just says menthol right there. And if you guys are familiar with the Marlboro black line of cigarettes, you guys know that there is always going to be a lot more black than normal Marlboro packs, you know what I'm saying? And as such, we have all of this up here is black and the Marlboro ribbon kind of thing. So really no complaints on my behalf. Pretty typical. I gotta be completely honest with y'all. So really nothing, anything too different. It just says menthol right there so not a not not really anything going on right there or anything like that but what's interesting in my personal opinion is the line right here the line right here which lines up with the green right here the same green is right there kind of thing which is pretty nice i gotta be completely honest y'all and this is all embossed right here so no complaints on my behalf or anything like that you know what i'm saying but overall, this pack design does seem to be very, very nice, you know what I'm saying? And does seem to have a decent amount of quality to it, you know what I'm saying? The Philip Morris logo down here is also embossed, along with the Marlboro right here. And then, of course, there's a black line right here, which really just emphasizes the black up here, which I really, really do like. I gotta be completely honest, y'all. But probably my favorite thing about this pack so far, I gotta be completely honest, y'all, is something I haven't even mentioned. It's this right here on the side of the pack. It says Marlboro Black Menthol, which is really, really nice. I really do appreciate that they put the actual name of the cigarette on the pack, you know what I'm saying? Because that's one of the things I was wondering kind of thing. I was wondering, what am I going to title this kind of thing? I was wondering, what, what am I going to title this? I was like, okay, is it Marlboro Menthol Black or is it Marlboro Black Menthol? And I'm really, really glad that they clarified it right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm really, really glad that they clarified it right there. So that is something I really do appreciate. You know what I'm saying? That is something I really, really do appreciate. But overall, the pack design is definitely really nice. And I like the black look right here. Definitely gives it a more edgy look than other packs. You know what I'm saying? And definitely just overall really nice. I really do like as well how the Philip Morris logo has the black on the inside, not any other other colors usually on any Marlboro packs at all it's usually going to be red or blue it's black on this which is something I really really do appreciate and is a little detail I think I missed on the last pack of Marlboro blacks that I reviewed the Marlboro black line that is you know what I'm saying Let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the pack, though. The back of the pack is exactly the same as the front. Same embossment, same everything like that. Nothing really too going on. Nothing really too much going on right here, you know what I'm saying? Side of the pack is pretty nice. The embossment is not continued to the side of the pack, which is kind of a complaint on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? But not really anything I can really complain about too much, you know what I'm saying? Not really anything I can complain. I can complain about too much, you know what I'm saying? It is cold out here, and I am certainly getting my words jumbled up because of that, you know what I'm saying? But no complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? But overall, the side of the pack looks pretty good, you know what I'm saying? It just says, if I can get some light right there, Marlboro Black you know what I'm saying? Limited to eligible smokers, 21 plus, 20 class A cigarettes. Please don't litter. I agree with that. Please do not litter. You know what I'm saying? And it just says Marlboro Black Menthol, Philip Morris, USA, Richmond, Virginia. Of course, these are FSC compliant, as we can see right there. And there's all the information right there. You know what I'm saying? And it says at the top of the pack for product information, call that number. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it says right there. On the other side of the pack, we just have the Surgeon General warning. So nothing really too, and nothing really anything too complex right there. And it just says underage sale prohibited. Of course, do not smoke underage. Do not buy underage. I do not support that. You know. I'm saying and the top of the packaging just says Marlboro menthol right there and the bottom of the packaging just says menthol right there with the nice little green and black right there which is really really nice I do believe this pack looking at the number was probably made in 2020 or 2021 although I'm not exactly sure you know what I'm saying I'm not exactly sure but there's the code if you guys can see it you know what I'm saying let me know what year it was made or anything like that if you guys can tell you know what I'm saying but I think without further ado it is time to go ahead and get this pack opened up and let you guys know how the cigarettes actually look and what the foil looks like I'm very curious if I see the foil if I remember correctly, the foil in the last pack of the Marlboro Black line that I reviewed was black foil, which was really, really nice, you know what I'm saying? So no complaints on my behalf. I think without further ado, though, let's go ahead and get this ripped off, and let's go ahead and take a look at what it is, and let's go ahead and just take a look at the pack, to, pack quality underneath the 
plastic overall, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, pretty excited. And the pack quality underneath fingers is definitely still decent, but it's certainly not exemplary. It's definitely got a matte feel up here and a glossy feel down here. So there is a definite de texture difference, which is really, really nice and no complaints on my behalf about that at all. I do like the texture differences, you know what I'm saying? Although I do kind of wish they had kept this matte look for the entire packaging, as we can see, it's definitely a lot more glossy down here than it is up here, but it's really not anything too significant. It's really just a really minor, not even complaint, just a notable thing to mention, you know what I'm saying? I think without further ado though, let's go ahead and get this opened up and see if the foil is actually black, which it certainly does look like it is, and it is, and that's really nice, and y'all can take that Marlboro Rewards code if you guys want it, you know what I'm saying? Y'all are free to it. I don't use Marlboro Rewards personally, but let's go ahead and take a look at the foil. The foil right there just has the normal Marlboro ribbon. There's the light hitting it right there, so you guys can see the Marlboro ribbon right there. Just a nice little classic look. Nothing really too simple, nothing really too complex either, though, I gotta be completely honest, y'all, but something that really does fit the packaging, and it's something I really, really like, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and get this ripped out, though, and let's go ahead and take a look at one of the cigarettes. Now, something I do wish they did with this cigarette that I think would have made it just absolutely so cool, you know what I'm saying? Since it's the Marlboro black line, I wish they had made the filters black. That would have been so cool, I gotta be completely honest, or, or hell, if they had just made the entire cigarette black, that would have been so cool but sadly that is not a reality you know what i'm saying sadly that's not a reality and let's go ahead and get one of these out and let's go ahead and just start taking a look at it you know what i'm saying not sure how well i'm going to be able to see perforation in this lighting you know what i'm saying because it is quite dark out here tonight usually i record my videos quite early in the morning but now i'm recording my video quite uh, not really late at night it's just right after the sun went down you know what i'm saying I just wasn't able to squeeze it in today but let's go ahead and see if i can see any perforation or anything like that and right off the bat i don't see any perforation but as said i don't know if I can see very well in this lighting. My eyesight is certainly not the greatest. I got decent eyesight, but it's certainly not the best. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But overall, I hope y'all's day is going pretty, pretty good. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all's day is going pretty, pretty good. I cannot complain personally. Just got back from family vacation. So just excited to light this up. You know what I'm saying? And I have full faith that this cigarette will make my day just absolutely, absolutely amazing. And I hope y'all's day is going absolutely, absolutely amazing as well. And if it isn't, well, I hope this video can just make your day a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? But I think without further ado, let's go ahead and just take a look at what this looks like. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and just take a look what this looks like. You know what I'm saying? The filter is decently long and it just says Marlboro right there. You know what I'm saying? So nothing really too interesting, nothing really too complex or anything like that and I did not see a single line of perforation but as said my eyesight is pretty bad in this so I may be missing it but I do not believe there is any perforation or anything like that on this cigarette which is a pretty unique feature you know what I'm saying a lot of menthols do definitely have perforation so that is pretty nice so this I am expecting to be a very very bold cigarette I gotta be completely honest well which definitely is to be expected you know what I'm saying it's a Marlboro Black they tend to have the highest nicotine of any Marlboro cigarette and the boldest flavor or maybe not flavor but at least the bowl is smoke, you know what I'm saying? But I think without further ado, let's go and take a look at the actual tobacco blend. You know what I'm saying? The tobacco blend seems to be a little bit of a darker blend. Let's go ahead and smell it real quick. You can definitely smell the menthol, but you can also smell the tobacco. And in all honesty, it kind of smells like a Newport, you know what I'm saying? So really no complaints on my behalf. Definitely slightly different than a Newport, but if I had to relate the smell to any other cigarette, you know what I'm saying? I would relate it to a Newport personally, you know what I'm saying? But I think without further ado, let's go ahead and get this lit up and let's go ahead and see how the Marlboro Black Menthols actually are, you know what I'm saying? Without further ado, let's go ahead and get this lit up. Yes sir, yes sir, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Right off the bat, very, very bold. No complaints on my behalf about that. And definitely very, very strong menthol taste right off the bat. <sighs> very, very strong menthol taste. Very little tobacco taste, if any at all. <sighs> yeah. No complaints on my behalf. This is definitely a very bold menthol. There's really no tobacco taste at all. Definitely a very bold, a very raw taste, I gotta be completely honest, y'all. Not something that is very smooth, but something that is oddly smooth for what it is, you know what I'm saying? Definitely not, did not expect this to be this smooth, especially with me not smoking a cigarette for the last two days, you know what I'm saying? But no complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? No complaints on my behalf. <sighs> Overall, though, so far, this certainly is a pretty good cigarette. This certainly is a pretty good cigarette. Definitely something, I don't really prefer menthols. I don't really like menthols all that much, but this certainly is a nice menthol, you know what I'm saying? And it definitely is a lot smoother than I expected, you know what I'm saying? I gotta spit real quick. No complaints on my behalf, though. No complaints on my behalf, though. I gotta be completely honest, y'all. But overall, the taste, if I had to relate this to any other taste of cigarette, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> 
This is definitely a mix between spearmint and peppermint. This is not really any of them kind of thing. This is not really any particular one. You can definitely taste the spearmint. And you can definitely also taste the peppermint. This is not a super sour menthol or anything like that. This is definitely, as I said, a mix between peppermint and spearmint, which is something you don't really see with a lot of menthol cigarettes. So it is certainly something to be noted, which is something that's that's honestly very nice. I gotta be completely honest, y'all. I, of course, personally prefer a sweeter cigarette so i do prefer more pepperminty menthol cigarettes but i do not like i do not mind a good spearminty menthol cigarette as long as it is a little bit sweet you know what i'm saying and this certainly fits that category you know what i'm saying this certainly fits that category so no complaints on my behalf i think without further ado though i'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of a screenshot you know what i'm saying No complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? And this cigarette certainly is smoking decently fast, so no complaints on my behalf. But if I remember correctly, that's exactly what happened with the last Marlboro Black I reviewed. I also, uh, it also went very, very fast, I gotta be completely honest with y'all. And looking at this again, there is still no perforation. Let's go and test the body valve. The body on this cigarette, and that was a very short draw, is certainly pretty decent, but it's certainly not the biggest, I gotta be completely honest with y'all. But as said, it's certainly not bad at all. It's certainly not bad at all. And it's definitely a pretty reasonably sized body, but not anything that's too extreme or anything like that. Let's take a little bit of a longer draw just to see if I can get a slightly bigger body. Yeah, there we go, there we go. It's not bad at all, and I'm sure, I'm sure there's, since, since I'm sure you guys can see... There's a little bit of a, there's a little bit of a, the air coming out of my lungs kind of thing that's appearing a little bit. So I'm sure a little bit of that was that as well. So that is something to be noted. But either way, the body certainly is pretty decently sized. And it's certainly not a small body or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? But no complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? No complaints on my behalf. The Marlboro Black Menthol so far does certainly seem to be pretty nice. And looking at this now, the Marlboro is very, very light. I gotta be completely honest, y'all. Very, very light. Definitely something where looking at it in the weird light I am in right now, I definitely did mistake this for a moment to be green, you know what I'm saying? I thought I looked at this wrong, you know what I'm saying? But I did not look at this wrong or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? So no complaints on my behalf. But overall, this cigarette certainly is not bad or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? Certainly not bad, but definitely not something that I would personally buy on a regular basis. But let me tell you what, let me tell you what, this definitely does have a pretty good amount of nicotine in it. I gotta be completely honest, y'all, this certainly does have a pretty good amount of nicotine in it. So no complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? The Marlboro Black Line, as said, definitely very notable because of the amount of nicotine it has in it you know what i'm saying and definitely something where this still has a pretty good amount of nicotine this is definitely a full flavored menthol definitely something i don't know if this actually has more nicotine than the marlboro menthols or the marlboro smooths or anything like that but sometimes it certainly does feel like the marlboro black line definitely does you know what i'm saying it certainly feels like that sometimes and i really do wish that the u.s didn't have regulations on whether you could actually show the nicotine in car car tar content on the side of the packaging you know what i'm saying i wish they could i wish i wish i wish i wish oh man i'm getting my words all jumbled up you know what i'm saying I wish cigarette manufacturers could show that information, but sadly, that's just something that's not publicly available. You can't even find it on the websites or anything like that, which really is a shame. I gotta be completely honest, y'all, but really, no complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? No complaints on my behalf. Let's go ahead and finish this off in just a minute, though. Yeah, it's a little bit too breezy right now. It's a little bit too breezy for a ghost, you know what I'm saying? Definitely a little bit breeze a going right now, but not really anything too extreme, you know what I'm saying? But overall, this cigarette certainly is nice, you know what I'm saying? This cigarette certainly is nice. So no complaints on my behalf. The Marlboro Black Menthols, what am I thinking it for a rating? What am I thinking it for a rating, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking a solid 8 out of 10. Solid 8 out of 10 seems pretty reasonable for this. The packaging is pretty good so far, you know what I'm saying? The packaging is pretty good so far. The packaging is pretty good overall, you know what I'm saying? The cigarette is pretty good so far. The foil was certainly a nice little tidbit, you know what I'm saying? And I really, really do like that embossment. I think really the only points I can take off of this are it not being to my exact taste and everything like that, since this is a personal rating, you know what I'm saying? This is just to my personal taste, you know what I'm saying? So it's certainly not to my personal taste. And with it being a menthol, it's gonna get automatic points off, you know what I'm saying? But overall, Certainly not a bad menthol, and if you guys do like a good mix between a spearmint and a peppermint, I would say that this is a pretty good mix, you know what I'm saying? I do not personally think that this is more spearminty than pepperminty. I do think that it's a pretty good even 50-50 mix, you know what I'm saying? So no complaints on my behalf. <sighs> If I had to relate this to any other cigarette I've smoked, honestly, I really am struggling to think of a cigarette that this I, that I can relate this to, you know what I'm saying? There are not a lot of cigarettes out there that, in my personal opinion, really draw the line kind of thing between peppermint and spearmint. There's really not a lot of cigarettes out there like that. 
But if I had to relate this to any cigarette, I'm really trying to think right now what cigarettes. It's not like the Marlboro Smooths. It's not like the Marlboro Skylines. It's not like the Mar classic Marlboro Menthols or anything like that. If I had to relate this to anything, I would probably say... <sighs> Newports, probably Newports, I gotta be completely honest with y'all. Probably Newports, there is not as much tobacco taste in this cigarette as there is with Newports, do not get me wrong, but the menthol taste is definitely, in my personal opinion, most similar to Newports, especially with how fast these smoke, because these do definitely smoke decently quickly, just not super fast, not as fast as Newports, but they do definitely not smoke slowly, you know what I'm saying? They definitely don't smoke slowly, let me put it that way. But overall, no complaints, no complaints, you know what I'm saying? As said, I hope you all are having an absolutely, absolutely fantastic day. This cigarette certainly is making my day better, but let me tell you what, my hands are freezing right now. It is currently like probably 40 degrees out here right now, which I know is not very cold compared to where some people be living, but it certainly is pretty cold where I live, you know what I'm saying? I think today is like a low of like 28 or something like that, but I gotta be completely honest, y'all, no complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? I do have some gloves in my bag, so I'm gonna grab those in a minute, you know what I'm saying? But no complaints on my behalf. I think without further ado, though, let's go ahead and finish this off, and let's go ahead and finish off the video. Yes, sir yes sir you know what i'm saying <sighs> definitely getting a bit hotter towards the end but no complaints on my behalf <sighs> but i think that is the cigarette you know what i'm saying i think that is the cigarette didn't really taste any filter or anything like that but it did get very hot and it did burn my lips a little bit so i'm just gonna call it quits with that cigarette you know what i'm saying the marlboro black menthols overall pretty good cigarette you know what i'm saying pretty good cigarette i thought i was holding the wrong side for a minute you know what i'm saying i thought i was holding the wrong side for a minute but no complaints on my behalf and definitely a good cigarette to get started back into cigarettes you know what i'm saying i've been missing them over the last two days and i'm very very happy to be back into them you know what i'm saying i've just been vaping for the last couple days and definitely just been missing cigarettes so i'm very very happy to be getting back into them you know what i'm saying and very very happy to be recording again you know what i'm saying i think without further ado though I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. So, I'm going to go and roll the outro, you know what I'm saying? Thank you very much for watching this video, you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I got my Instagram, my book, my merch, everything in the description of all, you know what I'm saying? Go check it all out. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, y'all, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir, yes, sir, you know what I'm saying? And, and I really do mean it. I really do mean it. I hope y'all have a great rest of y'all's day, you know what I'm saying? Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, y'all, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir, yes, sir, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir, yes, sir, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying?